Tourist Tracker Nation, Martin Chuck here. And if you follow me on my social media, I'd encourage you. It's some, I think I have fun on it. It's a little bit more personal. If you go to Martin Chuck PGA on Instagram, at Martin Chuck PGA, I post a lot of things on there I think you'll find interesting. Just quick hitters pretty much every day. Sometimes silly family stuff too. I posted about Will Zalatoris. And, you know, he's such an effective ball striker. And at address, everything looks pretty normal. Shaft's pretty vertical. From my uh, visual perspective, when I look down, I see the shaft pretty even with the ball, that little skinny white stick that represents the ball line. Now at impact, what's interesting is, well, Zalatoris is gonna look something like this. Now it's gonna look, you know, shaft's still pretty vertical, yet he looks as though his weight's back on his trail foot. A lot of great drivers of the golf ball look that way. The reality is there's dynamics at play that let people be in those conditions. And I want you to think about this. If you had the, the hammer in the Olympics and you lifted up that 25 pound weight with a chain and started swinging it around, wouldn't the weight of it start to allow you to lean back a little or the discus? Don't you have to offset that weight you're developing around you? Well, the same thing happens with the driver. We have to offset the weight. Now, when we hold it stationary, static, it doesn't weigh very much. But when we start to put speed in here, if we don't offset it, guess what it does? It pulls us off balance. So we need to learn to offset that weight. So when you watch a fellow like Will Zalatoris, and I'll attempt to slow this down for you so you can see this, my body's behind the ball. The ball's forward within my wide stance. The widest stance I have is my driver. And now the dynamics that Will, Will uses is he generates an awesome wide backswing, and then weight pressure hits his lead side. So pressure is actually here, and he is into this pressure even though he appears to be leaning backwards, and thus this has this appearance of forward shafting with his driver. I know this is a technical tip, but I just kind of want you to maybe think about these dynamics. I think you'll find it helpful in that I couldn't ever stop here and pretend I'm at impact because all my weight's on my back foot. But if I do this with, at speed, the momentum of that swoosh keeps me my lead foot long enough for the momentum that finishes my swing to pull me in balance. So if you give yourself permission to do that, a lot of nice things can happen. Primarily, you'll take a lot of spin off the driver. A lot of the golfers that come see me at the golf camp, they spin their driver too much. They don't get a penetrating ball flight. There's a happy place as far as excessive spin and not enough spin. And through a good club fitter, you can find that out. But let me hit one. I'll slow it down. You can kind of see the dynamics I'm trying to mimic, I'm trying to mimic that of a young, young tall whippersnapper who's built more like a human one iron, but strong as a bear. But let's see how this, how I manage. The Will Zalatoris, see if I can do it. Nice and tall on the backswing. And that was pretty darn good. So. When you kind of look at those dynamics right here, you can kind of see how there's a development of a backswing, pressure, and then all the effort to not get sucked into where the club head's taking me. Don't get pulled down the bowling alley with the bowling ball. Let that energy start to un unwrap itself, and then you learn how to finish in style. So a little tip from a great performance by runner-up at the US Open, Will Zalatoris. Hopefully that little nugget helps you sort out your alignments and your spin on your driver and play better golf.